Brexiteers reacted with fury after activists waved EU flags during the last night of the proms. The patriotic celebration took place on Saturday night at London's Royal Albert Hall. Rule Britannia was sung by Stuart Skelton, an Australian opera star, wearing cricket gear. However anti-Brexit campaigners targeted the event. Handing EU flags from balconies and waving them in the hall. Many also wore blue and gold EU berets, which were popular on anti-Brexit protests after the 2016 referendum. One Europhile group, the EU Flag Mafia, said that it handed out 10,000 EU flags outside the proms in support of gigging British musicians in trouble due to a failed Brexit. Some artists also demonstrated outside the Royal Albert Hall before the event, claiming Brexit had made it harder for them to tour the EU. Another added, I really do wonder about some folks. Last night of the proms, rule Britannia, land of hope glory. There they are EU berets atop their bobbling heads. Waving their little flags, I mean has anyone told them we are out of the EU and it's all over? A third posted, last night of the proms. Why are idiots wearing EU hats, waving EU flags, but singing rule Britannia? What, hypocrites? A fourth said, idiot of. The week awards goes to all those remainers with EU flags and hats at the last night of the proms. Five years on and still can't accept the result of the referendum. One more commented, last night of the proms multiple, the EU flags berets are out in force again but it's hilarious watching them sing all our patriotic songs. Clueless doesn't even begin to cover it. A tribute was paid at the proms to the victims of the 9-11 terrorist attacks. Twenty years after they took place. Conductor Sakari Oromo said the occasion showed the healing power of music. He added, due to the worldwide COVID pandemic. Live music making was stopped across the world for many months, and in some places it still is. Music that is core to human expression went silent. The bond between audiences and performers was broken. Britain voted to leave the EU in June 2016, by 52% of the vote to 48%. Departure finally took place in January 2020, following a number of delays caused by opposition in Parliament.